Mrs. Cal, I thought I'd come back. I have got a square drill painting. It's only a little tiny one, look. It's only a, I think it's 25 by 25. So what's that drill field? No, that can't be right. It is 20, 23 by, hang on. 25 so 25 by 25 roughly somewhere around there so this is the first time I've ever done a square and you all know if you've seen my videos the trouble I've had of even getting a square one so oh, I can't even so I thought we'd have a go together so I'm going to cut this a little bit so I can work in small pieces. If that's all right with you ladies. So I thought, well, it's very, very small though. They look ever so tiny. Are they a lot smaller than a normal round? I don't think so, but they just look very, 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 very tiny. Can you see? Oh, let's zoom in a bit there. Can you see if I put you there? Oh, hubby's just coming in. Oh, wow. Let me just turn it off and start. Sorry, I had to stop then because my husband came in. I've got to show you. That's the picture I'm doing. I don't know if much of it will show up on this small one. But I thought we'd give it a go. So here goes. So what number shall we find? H. I'll have a look down my graph here. H is... What's a H? 3371. Oh, I could have just looked for the H, couldn't I? Because that's how I've, oh, sorry, labelled my bags. Just put the DMC number, little H, and in a bag. So this could be fun. It'll either go swimmingly or I'll make a right hash of it. I've got a new tray that's got a little cut out on it. I never had one of those before. So I could end up spilling them everywhere. So right people, let's have a go at this. We'll give it a shake in the tray. So I'll put them in my tray. Just give them a shake. Oh, did I put my lamp on? Got, got, oh. Does that make any difference at all? Shining on there, isn't it? I can see it there. That's shining too, that shines too bright. So it doesn't really give us any help, does it, at all? Um, turn it that way. I have a couple that might be on the other side, and now I've come this side. Right, so how's everybody's day going? It's all right here. Oh, I see what you mean. I've got a, no, I'm on a wobble already. I'll get you on straight. Um, yeah, it's all right here. Been out. Off drain out the front was a bit yucky, so I've been out cleaning all that out the gut ring in that in the drain. The old rubber gloves on, lovely Sunday job. Um, what else? Oh, usual washing, ironing, drying. I don't think I can do these squares, you know, people. I don't think I can get them on straight. Yeah, I've just put the chicken in. Three o'clock, we have our Sunday lunch or tea for tea or dinner, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, have they got wings? I don't want any with wings on, do I? Yeah, so I haven't done an awful lot today, just basics. But I thought while the chicken's gone in, the veg is all prepped, ready to go, I'd have a little go at this and you could watch me having a, making a right pig's ear of doing squares. I feel like I want to have a magnifying glass. Maybe it would be easier with a light board, I don't know, but it's just, everything seems to be a bit dark. Whether it's because I've done rounds. So that one's gone on wonky. 
How do you straighten them up? Look, it just doesn't want to straighten up. See, can you see it sliding? Just doesn't want to stay straight. I knew I'd have problems with these. I do wear glasses, but my eyesight is not brilliant even with my glasses. Because once you start wearing them, you end up having to get ones every time you go. And I think I'm due for an upgrade, as they say. You must be all laughing at me watching me doing this because I am making a right hash of it. I think I'm putting them on straight when I'm levelling them up. And then I pull, you know, when you plonk it down and then you pull that away and you think, oh, look, it looks like it's on a bit of an angle. But I'll keep persevering. Well, I finished my stag last night. So I've got a, I'll put a picture up on Instagram later. And Hubby's made me, with a bit of help for me, only a little bit of help for me, made a nice wooden frame from it for it. We made it out of floorboards, old floorboards. And it cost, I think it was about £2.50 for a bit of wood. And we've just shaped it into a frame and stapled it on. It looks quite nice. It's, we just hung it up. In the front room. So, but when I was finishing it last night, oh, I'm not doing that one. I was watching, oh, oh, let me get this right. Jennifer's Diamond Painting and Cross Stitch Wall. That's her channel. And she did a live last night. And I got to admit, it was brilliant. They're such a lovely bunch on there. The night before I looked at, I was on Rachel Ray and um, I thoroughly enjoyed them. The people on there were absolutely lovely. It was very entertaining. Um, I watched it for a few hours, I think, both of them, while I did my, just sat here and, and did what I'm doing now, just a bit of diamond painting. And it was quite nice to have a bit of company and interact with people. So I would recommend uh, looking out for them. Um, I do like as well is, oh gosh, I'm hopeless at names. It's only because it's a long one. Oh, Mrs. Coffee, but it isn't Mrs. Coffee, is it? Oh, Mrs. Coffee, what's your full? Crafted with Mrs. Crochet and coffee that's it crafting with mrs crochet and coffee sorry about that um she does a live as well but hers was at three o'clock in the morning so i didn't get to to watch that one which was a bit gutted because she's really really funny on these she's the moderators on the live two lives that i've seen and she's really funny but they're just so nice and down to earth it's just such a lovely lovely to do is just sit there DP in and, and you've got these lovely people chatting in the background and you can join in and with the discussions if you want or not you know it's it's up to you they don't mind if you just sit back and listen just say hi as you go in because it's polite you know so they know you're there and um yeah and I do watch routine as well when I can but she hasn't been doing YouTube lately, last couple of weeks. She's been on um, Mixer. And I can't, sometimes I can't get on to Mixer properly to watch her. So I haven't been able to really watch her since she's just doing Mixer. But she was quite good on YouTube. I've just popped a load of these have gone flying across the table. Yeah, so what do you call these? Do you call them drill with me and a chat? Or do we call it a whip and a chat? I never quite know what to put in the description box. I mean, I've only done two. Ooh, do two of these. This is my third attempt at a little whip and chat. I won't go for long because 
I don't want to bore you. But yeah. So I have I've ordered a couple from AliExpress. First time I've ordered off them. So one is shipped. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. And I have ordered one off Wish to see. So just just out of curiosity what it would be like. Just to see if there's much difference. Oh, please do not look at how I'm putting these on. This is going to be a disaster. Can't get them on straight. Oh, <laughs> monkeys. It's going to be... I could do with one of those... Um, what do you call it? Magnifiers. Can you get glasses with magnifiers on it? That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Put it over my glasses. And then I might see a bit better. So I think these are all square when I put them down. You know, in shape I mean now. You watch people do this and they make it look so easy. And I know it is, and probably a two-year-old could do this. I'd come in and do it better than me. <laughs> we give it a go. We give it a go. Well, the dog's deserted me because um, Abby's just give her a bath. Because she's been out on the field playing with a ball and come back a bit muddy and grimy. So she's just had to have a bath. So she's sat in the front room on a pile of spare blankets that we have in there that the kids wrap themselves up in the evening with. And uh, I've wrapped her with her blanket on top of her. As if to say I'm cold and I'm wet because she'll only lie you to dry her for so long with the dryer and then she, she gets really uptight with you. So you can only do it for so long. So she's clutched herself on the settee, so she's looked at me as disgust as if it's my fault. So, but, yeah, she'll forgive me later. So I'm all on, all on a little alone in here. Millie was, um, had this craft um, this year, this morning, because she was uh, doing hers. So she's whipping on with that one. She's really into it. In a big time. Jessie just picks hers up now and again. Mind you, she's only 11, bless her. She wants got other important things to do. Well, Millie's only 14, but she's very arty as Millie. She likes stuff. Um, yeah, so she's had this all morning, but she's gone in my craft shed. I've got a shed out in the garden. It's too cold out there for me. But she's hobbled out there on her crutches, and she's um, seen some artwork with doing with wires. So I've got some wiring in there. So she wants to have a go at making hands out of wire or something. So I said, I'll go for it. So she's gone out there fiddling. There is a little heater in there for her. So she could put that on if she does get if she does get cold. But I don't think kids don't seem to feel the cold like us. It's the old age, isn't it? Creeps into the old bones. Yeah, but I haven't told him because we've only got the basic pen. And I went, that's my only three ender but um rachel ray yesterday put up that she's got some dp pens for sale she started to sell them she had blue pink purple and like a silvery white i think it was well, i think it's white for six uh, euros so i ordered i thought well, i'll order myself but i thought no if i have one the girls will want one so i've ordered one for me one for the each for the girls. Oh, look at that. That's awful. So they don't know that they've got them ordered for them. So they'll come next week. Because Rachel's based in Ireland. So she said she'll go to the post office and post them tomorrow. So that's something to look forward to. Because I do envy. I see all these people... Uh, with these beautiful pens and from America. We haven't got much round here. And the ones that we have got round here, unfortunately, I can't afford because they're like 20. And they are beautiful. They're all like wooden. All this bit's wooden. And it's, it, and they are stunning, you know. And I can and quite understand that the workmanship that's gone into it, that's why they're the price they are. But unfortunately, that's out of my price range. 
So um, I was quite chuffed when Rachel put this stuff of hers up yesterday because I thought, oh, that is in within my budget and I can get three and still be within my budget. So that was quite nice. So I'm looking forward to them coming and when they do, I'll do a little um, unpackaging video for you all to see so you can see what Rachel does. I've only just found her channel. I got to admit she's lovely. It's a joy to watch her. She's always happy and go lucky person. So if you like that type of person, new to the to to a craft, it's, it takes you a while to find the channels that you you want to watch. You know, you you dip in and out of different ones, and then you fi sort of find one, and then you can like doing these lives. That these ladies have been doing i found other crafters that are yeah saying sorry my camera just cut out there it's playing up my phone yeah i found so find some other crafters on these channels on these lives and you go in and have a look at those and you find oh i like those and then they lead you to another one and so forth and so forth so i've got a few channels now that i i watch I really enjoy and they give me inspiration to keep giving it a go especially doing these squares because I was really nervous having a go at this I still am a bit but I thought well if it goes wrong it goes wrong I think this this painting wasn't that much so four or five pounds something like that so I think if it does go a bit pear-shaped at least I'd give it a go I think you've got to give things a go in this life you now because I would have wondered would it have been any good did I like it what did it look like so, uh, yeah, so if you know of any, do you think there would be worth channels for me to have a look at? Just uh, put them in the comments below and I'll go and check them out. As I say, I do watch them when I'm DPing because I find that's the best time. It relaxes me, you know, I can listen and watch and do this at the same time and... So now it just makes pleasant time pass, as they say. Because where I live, there's not an awful lot to do. It's only a very, very small Welsh country town, and it is tiny. So this is my form of entertainment. As I said before, I don't watch telly. Um, well, that's a lie, actually. I very occasionally watch telly, I should say. There's one or two programmes that I will watch now and again, and that's about it. Because I prefer to watch people on YouTube. I find it more... Um, what's the word? Not appealing, what's the word I'd use? Entertaining. Than telly. And a lot of telly now is doom and gloom. And, oh. I mean, there's enough doom and gloom in our lives as it is, isn't there? So I like a little bit of, uh, which is nothing wrong, you know. Everything in moderation, but I do like to have a little giggle and a little laugh and and stuff and just to chat about everyday things. You know. But yeah, so the weekend's nearly over yet again. I can't believe how quick these weekends are going and how quick it's gone since... Christmas, my god, it's flown by. The next thing is uh, Easter, isn't it? That would be the next thing. I can't remember if that's late or early this year. That changes every year. Now, what, come on, somebody, answer me this. How can Easter change? Surely it should be the same time every year. I don't get this. I really don't get why Easter moves. I probably have been told in my younger days, but I can't remember. It's because sometimes it's in March, sometimes it's in April. Well, surely they should be the same dates every year. So, yeah, if anybody can enlighten me, I would be very grateful. It's probably something obvious and I'll think, ugh, when I know the answer, but... Yeah, that would be nice because I just don't understand those things. Like Christmas is the same time every year. Valentine's is the same time. 
Halloween, Guy Fawkes, they don't move, but Easter moves around. Just always seemed odd to me. Let's have a look in the screen. Oh, you, it doesn't look too bad when you look in the screen, <laughs> but don't look too close. That one's got tails on it. Yes, yeah, so I got a feeling I might have probably pop because I haven't got them level. You do that, you pick, think you've picked one up and you go and put it on the canvas and then realise there's nothing on the end. Yeah, that's one of my special, special tricks that is. Go up to the canvas and there's no, no drill on the end of it. That is a nice sander when they do click in. I've got three in my tray so I'm going to have to put some more in my tray, aren't I? Yes, so... And do you find as well, you put the bag away, you think you've done your little section and you put the bag away and bugger me, you'll find another one. Because I just scanned these and thought I got all the single H's that were off on their own. And you'll always find that you've left one that you haven't put a drill in. Do you leave it till you get the bag out on another section or do you get the bag back out? What do you prefer? I must admit... I. I have to get a bag out and fill it in because it just annoys me. Because I just think about that drill missing then. And that really winds me up, so I have to go and get the bag. Hubby always says, he says, just leave it till next time, next bag you get out. And I said, I can't because it plays on my mind. It's there wanting to be filled. So it needs to be filled. So I need to fill it. It's funny, isn't it, how little habits you have. You can't stop yourself. You've got to do certain things a certain way. Or I haven't got OCD or anything like that. I just think I'm just peculiar. Like when I wash up, I have to have, you know, the knives and forks, they go in the drainer. And I've got like two holes on my drainer that they go in. I have to have knives at the top one. And the sharp knives go in that one. And the bottom one has to have the forks, dessert spoons and teaspoons in. I don't like them too mixed up. I mean, what's that about? Why? What difference does it make? You know, but yeah, I have got silly, quirky things like that. I wish sometimes I did have a bit of OCD cleaning. I mean, I clean, but I just don't like it. I do it as it a necessity, is it? Right, that's the H is done. I don't think there's any more. So shall we start another colour? See where we go from there. And this is the first time as well that I've had one, excuse me, got one of these um, white covers because I've always worked with clear covers. So that seems quite strange as well. Should we have an M? So that seems quite strange having, having one of these as well, not seeing the whole picture underneath while you're working. And I noticed with the squares, you don't have um, the same brightness as colour on the canvas. That makes sense. Right, let's go, ladies and gents. Right, we're going for an M. Another one cat's just got up. She's been sleeping on my bed. She was in and out last night. She was a right pain in the bum. And then from about... R5, she's been sleeping up on the end of my bed on her blanket and she's just woken up now, haven't you? That's only because a dog jumped on the bed after she had a bath, wasn't it? What's the matter, Molly? She's looking at me. She's probably saying her bowl hasn't got what she wants in it. She likes her sweeties, her treats. She's a little monkey. If she can get in the drawer to them, she'll have them whip them out in no uncertain terms and scrag get into them. I'm only giving them little, um, you know, they're a bit like, look like dried food they do, but they're little treats. She has uh, four or five of them a day. Very tiny, tiny things, but if she had her way, she'd have them morning, noon and night. The other cat's not bothered. Whether she has them or not, but uh, the black one, Molly, 
Yeah, she wants him all the time. Because in the morning, well, school days, I should say, I have the two cats lined up and the dog in the kitchen all looking at me. Because they're all waiting, because Jessie always has a wrap in the morning with ham and a little bit of cheese and cucumber, and that's what she likes for her breakfast. And I always give, because she likes the wafer thin ham, I always give the animals a little tiny piece each. So every morning I come down and there they are, all three of them, waiting patiently for me to give them their bit of ham. And at the weekend they can't understand what's going on, because at the weekend Jessie doesn't have it. She'll have cereals or a dippy egg and soldiers or... Something like that for a change because she's got more time. So they cut, so I don't give them ham at the weekend. So they get quite put out. They're used to it now, but they do get quite put out. But it's our one cat's birthday today. She's eight. So um I give her a little treat as some ham earlier. And the dog came in and I went, Nope, it's not your birthday. Oh, she stuck her head up in the up in the air and off she tuddled. Not happy at all. But she didn't get any. I said, you'll get some on your birthday, but you won't get any any today. So what do you think so far then? I know you can't really see, can you? Can you see? They're not so... It's alright, I'm doing it on my phone, so I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm zooming in and out. Yeah, so I'm going to find something to watch tonight. So I don't know if anybody's going live. So I will go on one of the pages, um, Facebook pages I'm on that, um, excuse me about the banging, that's my husband putting my frame up I think, and see who's doing a live chat tonight so I can persevere with this and watch them. So I won't bore you all anymore. Thank you all for taking the time out in your day and giving my channel a watch, I do appreciate it and thank you for want new ones that are subbed and thank you for the old ones to sticking by me and carrying on watching and commenting i love reading the comments it makes my day reading them and answering them so everybody please please take care look after yourselves and speak to you all and see you all soon oh sorry bye